Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. Not only summarize what occurred today in the markets and with AMC, but also predict what will occur tomorrow. The necessary economic data as well as what could directly transpire with AMC stock. We have our work cut out for us in this video. If you haven't already, click the like icon and subscribe to the channel. However, if you want to take it a step further, come trade with me in real time linked within the video's description below. This market environment can be quite lucrative for certain transactions. Now let's discuss the events of today. Apple is the most significant event of the present day, and Apple is truly dragging down the entire market as their Mac shipments decline by over 40% more than their competitors. But to see a 40% decline in Apple's revenue year over year is shocking. I mean, that has never occurred before, right? This has virtually never occurred with iPhones, Macs, iPads, or wearables such as watches. Moreover, you have never seen this before. So, it's causing a great deal of fear in the markets, particularly since it's occurring at a time when technology, your large tech technology, has been in a bubble, as I heard today. These forward PE ratios are the highest we've seen in decades. That's a frightening quantity, right? This is a frightening statistic and this is due to the technology mania. Currently, AMC stock is up 7% on the day. Apple is down approximately 2%. We discussed this in the video earlier today, but the collateral crisis is worsening, which means that when Apple and other large tech companies are down significantly, it creates a lot of bullish pressure on AMC, as collateral is used to finance and maintain short positions when it declines. Therefore, when it declines, additional collateral must be attached. You must observe the addition of more cash and shorts covering their short positions or hedging out their short positions. So Apple is receiving such news today. Not favorable for those trousers. And when you combine this with the other evidence, it becomes clear that if the markets continue to decline, A and C will be subject to significant upward pressure, even more so than what we anticipate. And I believe that much of what has recently transpired with AMC is predicated on expectations, as we reported earlier today in a video about how many stocks are. The movie theater industry is achieving new heights. On April 8, Cinemark announced that their attendance has reached a three-and-a-half-year peak, while their stock is nearing a 13-month high. IMAX is approaching its highest point in eight months. Marcus Theater's stock is also near a five-month high whereas AMC stock is nowhere near that level. It is very close to the lows. Observed ever, correct, since the meme stock saga has begun, and the reason for this trend is the anticipation of a reverse division. Is going to pass, the judge is going to approve this, and we're going to confront a great deal of dilution. The price of bank stock could fall 50% from here. And this is the prevalent theory and reason why hedge funds are short AMC to such an extreme degree. Well. Let me be the first to inform you that it is not so clear-cut that a Mohs-like event could occur after April 27. That is not hopium. This does not, you know, involve disseminating unrealistic expectations. This is predicated on the current expectation of the market. Everything is going to be alright, as we will experience massive dilution. We're talking about 80, 85, 90, and 95% dilution from here, whereas this is not typical and the judge has given numerous indications that this outcome is unlikely. And I believe that at the very least, we will receive another judgment date, which the markets are not prepared for. The hedge fund industry is unprepared for this. So, this is roughly the situation today. Cinemark did receive this information, and this is what is currently supporting movie theaters in general, not just AMC. Actually, they're all having a reasonably decent day. Consequently, the day is essentially favorable for your movie theaters. There are approximately 16 minutes left in today's trading session, so I don't anticipate a great deal of movement. On a technical level, however, AMC was rejected at this 50-day moving average. This magenta line, which is at $5.36 per share, is shown here. You surpassed this twice today and reached $5.37 per share twice. Therefore, you broke out one cent above the 50-day moving average and were rejected. You are presently trading at $5.23, which places you at the upper end of the range. If you begin to break out above these moving averages, the next level could reach $7.17 per share, 
and you have so much adverse positioning for the 27th of April that I believe it is very likely that AMC will break out to the 200-day moving average. Nonetheless, if we do, the sentiment at that point would have to shift to, you know, the possibility that the courts won't rubber stamp this on April 27. Therefore, the further AMC rises from here, the more uncertain you will become about the impending court date on April 27 and I estimate that there is a 10% chance that the judge will discharge the case and allow the reverse split to proceed without a further court date, correct? There is a 10% possibility that will occur, so it doesn't appear very likely. It appears more likely that you will have another court date, and it appears more likely that AMC stock will rise after April 27, and I believe now is an excellent moment to be long AMC. Furthermore, what occurred today in terms of economic data? Well, we also discussed this in a video earlier today. Let's immediately begin. Thus, your inflation expectations for one year increased dramatically. You anticipated an annual inflation rate of 4%, and these are the inflation expectations of consumers. It measured 4.7%. The reading for last month was 4.2%. Thus, a significant increase across the board relative to this reading's predictions. In addition, Last month's reading of 4.7% was not encouraging, and the actual categories in this table are intriguing because, essentially everything increased in height. In addition, food expenditures decreased significantly from 9% to 5.9%. Um, well, that's great. However, rent rose from 9.2% to 9.6%. Now, inflation expectations for the next three years are 2.8% up from 2.7%, but down 2.5% from 2.5%. Also, inflation expectations for the next three years increased, whereas inflation expectations for the next five years decreased. Thus, the data point on the inflation curve's long-term endpoint is, you know, a bit ambiguous. Three-year inflation decreased, while five-year inflation rose. And it's going to be fascinating, because markets typically have a more short-term outlook but inflation expectations for the next five years tend to drive some of the algorithms. In about 30 minutes, you'll be fed. But even tomorrow, I believe it is highly likely that AMC will breach above the 50 and 100-day moving averages. You're seeing a combination of volume, momentum, and sentiment that is quite impressive, right? Since hitting that low just three or four trading days ago, technically four trading days ago, three trading days ago, the price of $3.88 was still quite low. You are currently at $5.28 per share. It's been an impressive ascent. And typically AMC does tend to go on multi-day runs, but we have not yet witnessed the explosive breakout that would make it worthwhile to short AMC back down if you were a short or playing this arbitrage trade. It is becoming increasingly unlikely that this trade will benefit them, gentlemen. This concludes the content of this video. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel before posting your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.